the final week of me being a one child, one stepchild father. This your this your final week of being the only child. How you feel? Um, my car broke down on the way to my baby shower, which was insane. That shit sound like some fucking made up movie nonsense. And what God is saying is, is don't be sitting up stressed, up, stressed out about tomorrow because tomorrow got enough problems in itself. Man, I'm really happy as hell. I'm trying my best to contain myself, but I'm really excited. I cannot wait until my son is born and uh, see exactly what my guy got going on. What's the word, birds? This is our boy, Flute Dog, with the vlogs. Man, we back at it with another epic banger, man. If you're new to the channel, I need you to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe, man, and hit that all uh, post notification bell so you could be notified when your boy, Flute Dog, with the vlogs, drop a vlog, man. So today is what day? What day? Wednesday, man. Today is Wednesday. The final week of me being a one child, one stepchild father. You feel me? Next week on Monday, we are having my son. He's going to be born. And Jesus Christ, cheese and rice. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just insane. It's just insane. Damn, Joe Rogan had Donald Trump on there. Gotta watch that. That's a three hour long freaking interview. I'm probably watch that. So it been a lot of stuff going on, man. The political stuff is going on, man. By the time y'all see this, we gonna already know who the president is, but um they electing the president on what is that? Tuesday. So we'll see where the country go from there. Cause man, boy, Jesus, it's just nonstop. No, stop controversy with these people, man. Um, between those two, but on another note, like I said, this is uh the last week before my son is born. Uh, my little dude is about to be born on Monday. Um, today we went to the doctors to do our final checkup, which was cool. Um, Let's see what two you want. Then my daughter. What's up, Tony? What's up, guys? What you up to, daughter? Nothing. This your this your final week of being the only child. How you feel? Um, I hope I will survive tonight. <laughs> you think he gonna be a crying baby? Yeah, Tootie slept throughout the whole night, so that's cool. But I'm going to finish recording. I'm going to call you back, okay? Wait, I need to say something. What? I was watching here, Dad. I'm going to do my hair's cupcake. Oh, I love it. You look so pretty. And tomorrow is Halloween. Tomorrow is Halloween. Happy early Halloween to you, daughter. You too, Daddy. All right, I love you. I'll call you back in a minute, okay? Adios, cheese and toast. Yeah. Peace. So, uh, yeah, man, tomorrow is Halloween. I forgot all about that, man. So tomorrow is Halloween. My daughter's going to be out trick-or-treating with her mom. I wish I would be able. Ooh, excuse me. I wish I would be able to be there, but I can't because I'm carless at the moment. Been using my old lady car. If y'all been tuned in, um, my car broke down. On the way to my baby shower, which was insane. That shit sound like some fucking made up movie nonsense. You feel me? But, uh, you know, we just go throughout life, man. Only thing you can do is take it one day at a time, man. And shit, just do your best. Um, I like to try to read my Bible every day. And, ooh, excuse me. I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before the verse of the day was... Um, put no thought into tomorrow because tomorrow has its own 
it has his own problems. I'm paraphrasing. So basically what it was saying, what God is saying is, is don't be sitting up stressed, up, stressed out about tomorrow because tomorrow got enough problems in itself. You know what I'm saying? Today got enough problems. You know what I'm saying? To, today got enough problems. Let me start over, man. He say, don't be worried about tomorrow. Don't be overthinking about tomorrow because today got enough problems in itself. For you to be thinking about some shit that didn't happen yet. You know what I'm saying? That's just my paraphrase of it. But that's exactly it's like what it said. You know, put no thought into tomorrow because shit, it got his own problems. You know what I'm saying? So you sitting up thinking about, but damn, next week this is supposed to happen. And man, just take care of today, man. Do as best as you can do today. And everything else going to fall in line, man. It's not even promised for you to even make it to then. So what's the point in thinking that far and thinking that hard? And I must admit that um, I'm guilty of fucking trying to think too far into the future and trying my best to... I mean, and there's nothing wrong with planning. Don't get me wrong. But when you stressing yourself out about some shit that ain't happened yet... You definitely doing yourself a disservice. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that is. But um Yeah, man, I'm just chilling for real. Um I got some shit I need to do. I've been putting together this stuff for my son room. I still uh, man, we got plenty of stuff to do around here. I still need pictures on the wall. I gotta get a damn TV stand. I gotta get I don't I don't want to put my TV on the wall in here for some reason. But it is what it is. I could I could. We'll see. My um dad know how to do the TV on the wall shit, so maybe I might do that, but I I don't I don't really want to do that. Uh, I want to get an entertainment center with the LED lights and all of that shit. So I'm gonna get that soon. I got to get a fucking um uh, uh uh dresser for my son's room. Um get a little tv for in there for him get like a little like some little seats or something some little chairs or something so we could sit in there and don't have to keep running from in there to out here and in there and out here so it's just plenty shit man to be done around here but you know when you start thinking about the collective whole versus thinking about taking one step at a time then that's when you fuck up you know um they say the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step you know what i'm saying you thinking oh my god i gotta walk a fucking thousand miles how am i ever gonna do it versus just taking one step boop and then that just you know it it, it snowball into uh, a thousand mile walk you know what i'm saying so it just is what it is man um really chilling man i'm really happy as hell i'm trying my best to contain myself but i'm really excited i cannot wait until my son is born and uh see exactly what my guy got going on i wonder if my old lady want to get on the vlog and say anything i highly doubt that she do i don't really feel like bothering her right now she seemed like she ain't really in the mood let me see watch it baby Dookie, you want to come say something to the vlog? You want to come say something to the vlog about how you feeling? No. Okay, just checking. But yeah, see, I didn't think she wanted to get her motherfucking ass up anyways. But it's just, you know, hey, just trying to be mindful. Maybe she might have some final, final thoughts on her last week being a... Uh, one child parent you know it's crazy man it's crazy but i'm definitely excited i know she excited she said as soon as the boy born she gonna look at him and just bust up laughing like what the fuck because this dude done caused so much trouble up inside the womb but it just is what it is, it is, what it is man you know Oh, uh, yeah, though, no, man, I'm having a good day. I'm kind of tired. I was about to rearrange this guy's room and clean it up and do all of that shit, but she going to be out tomorrow with my stepdaughter, and I'm going to be stuck in the house, so shit, I'm going to do it tomorrow while I'm chilling, and then I'll show y'all how his room turned out so far tomorrow when I finish it up, so 
I just been taking it light, man. I ain't gonna lie, I've been taking it light. I still got some more cleaning and shit to do around here. I want to make sure that he come into a nice, clean, sterile environment. And like I said, I'm super excited. So, son, eventually when you get big enough to see this stuff, man, just know I love you. Your ass was a hassle, but we at the end of the road. I'm so excited to see you. And, uh, yeah, man, got some vlogs over there rolling, uploading. And, um, yeah, man, shout boy flu dog with the vlogs, man. Ain't going to talk your head off. Make sure y'all like the video, comment down below, subscribe, man. Hit the all post notification bell. I'll let y'all on the next one, man. Love and peace. Peace.